before that video was a very short clip, correct? How many seconds was that clip? Uh, I'm not sure. You're not sure? Yes. How many buckets of water were used to put off that fire? I, I did not count. Can we watch that clip again? Yes. Uh, So that's minutes before the fire incident, right? That? Yes, yes. Proceed. I think when I speak at the clip is still playing. So by now, we have no one at the scene, right? Correct, Madam? Yes, Witness? yes, there's no one. There is a gentleman who walks in. Kindly tell us who that gentleman is. My watchman. That is a watchman? Yes. Does your watchman look panicked? Yes. We can all see that, Madam. To Witness, me, but yes. Right. <laughs> to me, yes. And you confirm you're also home on that day? I wasn't at home. You, you wasn't at home? You were yes, not at home? Yes, I wasn't at home. But I confirm, Madam Speaker, you saying that you were woken up by your worker to inform you about the incidents. I didn't say that. We will confirm from the answer. I wasn't at home. So you're now confirming you're not? I wasn't at home. Thank you. Yes. So by now still, there is no one putting off the fire and the gentleman is walking easily where the fire incident is. Let's see how many buckets of water those are. That's one, three, There is another one. And the fire is off. <laughs> you confirm that that was a petrol bomb. That's what you saw, told us. <laughs> I talked about a petrol bomb in the assembly. Please. It's not that one. Thank Let's you. get the uh, facts right. Ma ma Madam Speaker, Madam uh, Witness. What action did you take after your house was allegedly attacked and touched? I came back the following day. I was not at home. I came back the following day and I went and reported the incident at Nkobo police station. You are next a copy of the OB report. I mentioned it in the answer. Have you attached a copy of the OB? Because you knew you, you are going to rely on that clip. Have you attached the OB report? It is in the answer. Yes or no? I've not. Have you attached? I have not. So this Senate has no way of confirming whether there was any formal report or investigation done in respect to that incident. They have no way of doing that, isn't it? Okay. The yes or no? They have yes. no way of confirming that. Yes. They have no way. I put it to you, Madam Witness, that what we've just watched is a state-managed incident, and we cannot tell that. What do you say? It is not. It is not. Mm. Thank you. You have also talked about a number of incidences where the residents of Meru have complained about the governance structure of Madam Governor here. You have specifically talked about an incident where there was a bath that took place near Kegochoa Hospital. Yes. You remember that? Yes. Kindly confirm 
the status of that hospital. What level is that hospital? What kind of an hospital is it? It is uh, uh, level three. Hospital, according to the to the complaints of the uh, the, the people of Kiguchu, it is not according, Madam Witness. You investigated the governor, and the evidence you brought here are subject to investigations. With surety, tell us what level of hospital that facility is. Level three. Level three. Yes. It does not have a uh, maternity wing, does it? I am not sure. I am putting it to you that it is a dispensary without a maternity wing. Is that the position? I am not sure. You are not sure? Yes. If it is not, if it does not have a maternity wing, then there was no way a woman would have gone there to give birth, isn't it? I can't confirm. You cannot confirm? Yes. And you want this Senate to impeach the governor based on that allegation? Is that your position? It, 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 it is not part of my uh, allegation, but it is Thank a compromised you. service delivery. So it is not part of your allegation? It's a support of the con uh, compromised service delivery. But you confirm that you did not bring the governor here to answer to those charges. That's what you just told us. I confirm it is part of this delivery of service that has been compromised through Illegal appointments. You have also talked about 20 cows dying in a certain ward in Meru. Which ward was that? Kwene ward. Kwene ward. Yes. In your impeachment motion, kindly refer me to the charge where the governor is being accused of that specific allegation. I do not even know the name of that allegation, but in your impeachment motion and supporting evidence, show me exactly where you have accused the governor of that mismanagement of public resources. Is there anywhere? I did that. That video was meant to correct the video that was presented as, 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 uh, uh, as defense for the governor, which also is not in the, in, in the, in the, which also is not part of the allegations. So you have not brought the governor to answer to those charges? You have not brought the governor to the Senate to answer those charges, have you? Yes, because, because that is not part of my charges. Thank you. It's, it's only the governor defending herself through the wrong videos too. Thank you. And I seen the governor... I, I have not asked a question kindly. Okay. I will sorry, ask sorry. the question. Sorry. Let us proceed to the role you played in the last impeachment. We have watched a video of you saying that indeed you were part and parcel of that process. Is that still your position? Yes. So the last impeachment motion was meant to be brought by you. Yes. That position? Yes. What happened that you did not proceed with the process to its logical conclusion? The majority rinda, as a senior of the house, questioned requested me to hand over the motion to him. The, the, the leader of? The majority leader who happens to have been my boss. Thank you. Now, we have watched a video of you, and I would ask VKM1 to be played from the governor's exhibit of videos. VKM1. Thank you. We can post there. You confirm that you conducted that interview, but among the things you've said in that clip, there are also other things you talked about. Yes. Issues of governance. Yes. So you confirm that is you talking. That yes. And the words that you have uttered are your words. Yes. Thank you. So even if Senate was to discharge the governor this time round, you would still come back in this Senate with other charges, correct? Correct. <laughs> 
it 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 it, 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 it depends because let me let me confirm that <laughs> if the governor does not continue the violations we cannot bring her back indeed it is because those violations continued even when the case was here in the Senate. That's why I said that if the governor stops the violations, then we are going to go as mayor county. I cannot confirm that I'll come back because maybe the governor may decide now I'm not going to violate the constitution anymore. Do you have any personal vendetta against the governor? No. Do you think she's a mad woman? No. Do you think she's crazy? No. Can we watch video VKM09? Uh, Madam Speaker, Governor. we might need an interpreter for this specific video. Sergeant Thomas, the please usher in the interpreter. And before we <coughs> hear from the video, what is your background training professionally? Professionally, I'm a trained teacher. You're a trained teacher. You yes. actually served as a principal of a school, isn't it? Yes. Do you have any training in medical health? No. Mental health? No. Psychiatric training? No. Psychology? No. Thank you. Is, is the interpreter there? Yes, we can now watch the video. Governor Omero Kawira Mwangasa. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker, members uh, of the Senate. Uh, I'll go ahead and interpret the video. Kindly, can you play back? Governor Omero Kawira Mwangasa. Meru Governor Kawira Mwangaza, don't you think that you have a governor? She's mad. Governor Meru Governor uh, went uh, crazy long time. Na oni na alu anada kundi kriya yeteke vacant. And I today I want to declare that seat vacant. And now, Meru's should be ready. We need to get the way forward on how we get a new governor who can lead Meru. Okay, thank you. We can stop there. So, so, were you lying to the members of public then when you said the governor was mad? Or are you lying to send it now when you are saying you don't think she's mad? I didn't say she's mad. Whom are you lying? I didn't say she is mad. I didn't say she is mad. Was that you we just watched on TV? It was taken out of context. Was that you we watched on TV? It was taken out of context. Uh, witness, please answer the question. Yes. Senator Halwale, what's your point about it? As one of my colleagues who will be making a decision based on this evidence, Chair, could you remind the witness that she is under oath and can she therefore stick to one side of whatever it is she wants to tell us? Witness, uh, you are under oath. Please uh, uh, stick to telling the truth while under that oath. Eh? You want me Thank to remind you. you the question? Thank you. I remember the question. Thank you, Honorable uh, Speaker and Honorable Members. I just said I was taken out of I was uh, taken out of context. You confirm you uttered those words, but your evidence is that they are taken out of context. Yes. So the, you, are, you appeared on that yes. media house. Yes, I what appeared. Is, what is the name of the media house? Weru TV. Weru TV. You and, do and, know it is a national TV. And and it, popular it, watched in Meru. Correct? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. So, were you lying? I will repeat the question. Were you lying to the people of Meru, or are you lying to senators now when you say that you do not think the governor is mad? 
I said, you must have been lying to at least one of those. I said I was taken out of context. Did you explain your context in that clip? Yes, I did because the interview was for a full one hour. Thank you. And, and yes. it was for a full one hour. One hour. We supplied you with this video on Friday. We are appearing before Senate on Monday. Yes. Have you sought leave of this Senate to produce the full clip where the context is explained? I did not seek uh, uh, leave because the video is even not detained. I have done so many interviews in Weru TV and because the video is not detained, I could not even remember the date of the video. But the date notwithstanding, you have confirmed you appeared on that show. Yes. And you uttered those words. I did. And you have not sought leave to produce that full clip, even by asking the specific TV station to provide you with one. You have I, not. I didn't. You I asked, have not. I, have, I asked where TV and they told me unless I get a date for the video. Where is the evidence of that request? I just made a call Thank and you. they could not trace the video. Thank you. Uh, the mover of this motion is yourself, Madam Witness. Yes. And you have made it a business to impeach the governor and there is actually a direct financial benefit to you and other members of the county assembly who impeach the governor. Is that correct? No, not correct. Not correct. Yes. We have seen you on video VKM7 stating that it is your business to impeach the governor. Can we watch that clip once again? VKM7. Impeachment in Gabana, and Guada Quere Samumero. Impeachment in Gabana, yes, Madam Speaker. I will still need, need the translator, please. Yes, yeah. Can we watch the video kindly? All I can say, the impeachment of governor, I want to explain to Amero, the impeachment of the governor part of business It is part of our business as county assembly members. Part of business here yeah, I go impeach. Ah. Yeah, it is part of our job to impeach. Now nah, we, we can uh, not to impeach the many times see we together. And we can as well impeach over and over again as many times as they are remaining. By the way, the Nakuga motion you are in draft. I also want to say that that motion I was very key there. During the drafting and everything, I was behind it. And I was to take it to the Senate Mutembe. It's me who was to take it until the last minute. The last minute. Until the last minute. Until that last minute. If you listen to Evans Mawera very well when he was talking, he's saying that they were very convinced that the governor will go. Yes. For that reason that they were convinced that the governor is going, he wanted to take the motion so that he can get that fame. It's me who was to take that motion to the Senate. And I want to tell the people of Meru when you're listening. It's new. It's me who was to take that motion. We can, we can stop there for the sake of time. You have talked about two issues in that interview. One, that it is your business. The business of the assembly. It is your business the, to impeach the government. The creep says the business of the assembly. Business. Not private. Business yes. in Swahili is biashara. Two of us. 
true or false? We transact businesses in business the assembly. Business in Kiswahili is biashara. True or false? You are versed with the Swahili language. It is biashara, correct? Kwa Kiswahili ni biashara. Kwa Swahili, Kiswahili ni biashara. You have also said that Mawira took away your glory of trying to impeach the governor. That's why you ran with the motion. You were involved with the drafting until Mawira took the glory. Is that what you said? He took the motion from me. You have said that he took the motion from you and got the glory of impeaching the governor. Isn't that what you have said? I've said... He you want us to play that clip again? It can be played because I've said Mawira took away the motion from me and he told the people, Meru, he took the motion because he was sure the governor was going. You want, if he to, did, you want us to replay that clip again I where think, you're saying that he took the glory of trying to impeach the governor? You yes, him, to, not me. You have you, have you, you heard Daria yourself to, say that Mawera took the glory? He was taking, not me. You were confused and said, I'm the one who was taking the glory. It is Mawera. Thank you. So, yes. two issues here, yes, uh, yes. Madam Witness. Yes. Motion processes in Meru, Nibiashara. And second, there is a glory attached to it. And I want to take you there shortly. One, tell us, and you have just told us that you drafted the motion. You are not a lawyer, are you? Honorable members, please allow them to finish. You'll get your time. No, you'll get your time to actually just note. Write it down. You, you'll get the moment to actually speak to them. You have said you were involved in the process of drafting the motion. Is that yes. still your position? Yes. But you're not a lawyer. You could not have possibly. Uh, I drafted even this other one. I'm not. A, I'm a teacher, and I'm aware of did, the violations. Did you, did you have any help of a lawyer to draft that motion? Of course, I got a help of a lawyer. For legal services, at a pay, isn't it? You must have paid your lawyer to do that. Don't worry, I'm not asking you how much. But you must have paid your lawyer for that. I did not pay anything. You did not pay anything? Yes. Is that the same lawyer representing you before the Senate today? No. Who drafted? Which lawyer did help you draft the motion? The lawyer who, pre who presented the county assembly in the last proceedings. Which process you are involved in? That's what you've just told us. You were involved in the previous motion as well. Yes. Including the drafting. Yes. So the lawyer who presented you in the last impeachment process was the lawyer who drafted the motion for you? He assisted, with, he assisted me in drafting the motion. And subsequently, you presented the county assembly? Yes, because I was doing it on behalf of the county assembly. Let us talk about your appearance here today. Yes. You are seated here today and you are earning allowances for conducting this business, correct? True or false? Not true. You are earning per DMs today? Not true. I have not earned any. I have not been facilitated by anybody to come here. I facilitated myself. So, if later it is confirmed that you received funds during the process of impeachment, you would have taken away public funds without having uh, any justification. Is that your evidence? And be very careful because it is going on record. I've, I can confirm I've not received anything personally. Thank you. During yes. the last impeachment, were other MCAs and yourself paid? Council? Yes. You Sorry. have 13 minutes to go in your hour for cross-examination. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Madam Speaker. So it is your evidence that none of the MCAs are paid during these processes. We just uh, want a confirmation. I'm not aware. You did not receive any funds during the impeachment process. During the last three processes, you have not. Not even a single coin. I can't remember because there are so many payments that are made in the assembly and I, do, I can't remember whether I was paid for, the, for, for, the, uh, for, the, for coming for impeachment. What I'm saying is that right now as I sit here, I've not received anything. You have not received anything? Yes. We have looked at the Auditor General's report. Yes. Honorable Senators, I want to refer you to page 272 of volume 1B of the Governor's response. Volume 1B of our exhibits at page 272. 
kindly look at it. The governor's response. I want you to look at the first project that has been flagged by the Auditor General of Meru County. We can provide for the sake of time. Are you able to look at uh, that specific page, 272.1b? 272.1. What is the first project the county government of Meru has been identified of doing by the Auditor General of Meru? By the Auditor General, sorry. The first activity is motions for the impeachment of the governor, Mayor County, two motions for the two impeachment attempts. So the Auditor General of Kenya flags two impeachment motions as a project of the County Assembly of Mayor, correct? Yes. That would, of necessity, mean public funds were utilized. Yes. Otherwise, the Auditor General would not have deemed it fit to include it there, correct? Yes. Can you tell us how much money was spent? cumulatively by the county assembly in at least those two projects. Are you able to tell us that? I'm not, I'm not aware. I don't know. You do not know? Yes. Which committee do you serve at, at the county assembly? I serve in a number of committees. You serve at the Committee of Public Accounts Committee? Yes. That is the account that scrutinizes the report by the Auditor General, correct? Yes. Have you come across that report? It's 270, 272, Honorable Senator, of Volume 1B of the Governor's Exhibits. As a member, and maybe, let's, let's just um, scrutinize your role as a member of PAC. Yes. What is your main role? My, my main role as a member of PAC is to consider reports that are committed to the committee by the county assembly. I want you to look at Article 2, 229.8, specific to your role. Are we there? 229.8 of the Constitution. Tell us your mandate as a member of the PAC. Of PAC. 228. 229.8, sorry. 229.8. Okay. It is, first of all, confirm that chapter talks about the report of the Auditor General, correct? Yes. What is your role under 229.8? Within three months of, after receiving an audit report, Parliament and the County Assembly shall debate and consider the report and take appropriation, appropriate action. Thank you. As a member of this committee, have yes. you discussed the report of the Auditor General in the discharge of your mandate under that article? It has not been, uh, it has not been tabled. The report has not been tabled. By ah, the chairperson. That report has been not been tabled. Yes. You have relied on that report yes. to impeach the governor. Yes. Meaning you have had an opportunity to look at it, isn't it? Yes. But you have not discussed. We have not discussed because it has not been tabled. When did to you? The when was that report received? When did you come across this report? Because you are relying on this very report to yes. show number one that the governor is using a manual payroll, isn't it? Yes. Your evidence is derived from that report? Yes. I, I got it immediately. I cannot remember the date, but I got it immediately. It was released by the Auditor General. So you confirm that you got it immediately? Yes. As a member of this committee, you have yes. not taken any steps in the discharge of your mandate under that article, have you? You I'm have not, not? I'm not the chair of the committee. But you're a member of that committee? I'm a member of the committee. 
Thank you. Let us go straight to now the charges. And I'm looking at the charge where you want the governor impeached for illegally revoking the appointment of one Virginia Kawera. Yes. Do you know Virginia Kawera? Yes. What position did she hold before becoming the CEO of the board? She was a finance officer in the Department of Finance and Economic Planning. She was yes. an officer, senior principal finance officer. Yes. Is that a position where services are still needed within Meru County? Yes. Has there been any replacement of that position pursuant to her joining the County Public Service Board? I can't confirm. I Madam cannot Witness, confirm. This is your motion. Were you not interested in finding out whether that position was filled? It, the truth of the matter is that that position has not been filled, isn't it? It wasn't a subject matter in my motion. It was not. It wasn't. You are aware that Virginia took leave of absence, correct? Yes. A person who takes leave of absence is still holding that position, isn't it? That position is not given to any other person. Am I right? No. It is not. It remains vacant for the contract period that... And for how long? Yes. Is the contract of Virginia Kawira running? Six years. Six years. Yes. So for six years, that position will not be occupied and there will be no service delivery in that position? The position can be occupied by law. How would it be occupied by law? The appointing authority in the department can appoint somebody on acting capacity. For how long can someone act? Six months, isn't it? Then the law prohibits anyone to hold a position for more than six months, correct? There is deployment. Somebody can be deployed to, to, to work in that, in that, in that position. In a there's, a difference, there's a difference between... In a substantial uh, position? Is yes, can evidence? be deployed, yes. By public service management laws. Thank you. When was Virginia appointed as the CEO of the board? The specific dates. When? Legal counsel, you only have five minutes remaining. Thank you. Conclude your uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. When was she appointed? When did she assume the role of the CEO? Virginia was appointed on on 1st September 2023. 1st September 2023? Yes. By that time, to the best of your knowledge, had Virginia relinquished her previous position when she was being appointed? Had she relinquished or even sought leave of absence by that date? When did she seek leave of absence to make things easier for you? When? It was on 2nd of October, am I right? Kindly refer to our documents, Honorable Senators. Volume 1B of the Governor's Response at page 8. Do you find a letter where Virginia is now seeking leave of absence? On 8th on 2nd of October. Can you see it? I can see it. What is the date of that letter? 2nd October 2020. And when did Virginia assume the role of the CEO? She was appointed on, on 1st of September. 1st of September. Yes. So then, this Virginia served in two positions for a whole month. Am I right? I, I, 
I can't confirm, but as per the records, yes. As per the records, yes. Yes. Don't you think that is an illegality where an officer serves in two positions without any justification? Yes. Thank you. You have relied on an advisory by the board saying that the governor's revocation was illegal, correct? Yes. When that advisory was issued, who was the secretary of the board from where the advisory emanated? Virginia was the acting secretary. Thank you. So Virginia was the acting secretary of the board that issued this advisory, correct? Yes. Don't you think there's a conflict of interest then where the secretary of this board sits and takes minutes and an advisory opinion is generated from the same board? Not Don't you true. think there's clear conflict of interest? Not true. The letter of revocation was addressed to the chairman and it is the chairman that responded and responding to a letter does not require any minutes. How, so the how, letter of, how, how the letter, are decisions of the board arrived at? Is it the chairman who makes a decision or it is subject to the board's discussion, minuting, and subsequent communication done? I don't think there is any provision of the law that requires an advisory to be discussed in a board meeting, in my own opinion. But you confirm that Virginia was the secretary of the board by the time the advisory was She made. was. Uh, I confirm she was the acting C CEO of the, of the board at, the, at that time. And that one disqualifies uh, the, the, the area question that she served in two positions. Actually, I've forgotten, she was still appointed by the same government as the acting CEO of the Public Service Board. So she was still at the Public Service Board. Now, you have relied on a particular provision of the law to say that the revocation was illegal. What position was that? And in your view, what ought to have been the right procedure? Mr. Speaker, sir, with your indulgence, I see my time is up. At the beginning, we had gotten a promise that we would reconsider the timelines. Upon lapse, I kindly request to be given half an hour for me to complete. Um, legal counsels, I think both uh, sides, um, I need to make a ruling on the time issue. I think this time around, we have to be very stringent to the times allocated. We had agreed that the evidence and cross-examination will take four hours. The county assembly side has taken three hours on one witness. We have given one hour for cross-examination. We are left with one hour, and I think legal counsel, you'll have to advise at this point in time, how are you going to utilize the one hour you have if you're going to bring all the three witnesses or how are you going to allocate your time? Because what we will do, and I think we have to come into an agreement here, is that we shall give the one hour left to the county assembly to give their evidence, and then we shall all allocate uh, uh, the legal counsel of the governor one hour to cross-examine the evidence provided by the county assembly. So, legal counsel, how will you utilize your one hour? Thank you very kindly, Mr. Speaker, sir. In response to your question, 